Hey, welcome to the first lesson of our tutorial series on how to recreate the game Zigzag in Unity. First off, let me show you what you'll roughly end up with by the end of this series. Now this is the game that you'll end up with by the end of this series. Pretty fun. Now just a heads up, only the first lesson of this series is free on YouTube. If you'd like to make this game, you can find the rest of this series on our website after becoming a member. Our memberships only cost $3 a month, and you'll gain a bunch of other benefits by becoming a member. Now let's get on with the lesson. Alright, so to get started, here I have a new 3D project created, and to begin, we're going to set up our game scene. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is create a sphere to be our player object. And so I'm going to select the Create drop-down menu in the Hierarchy window, go to 3D Object, and then select Sphere. Now we can go ahead and rename this object to something like Player Ball. And on this object, the first thing I'm going to do is change its tag. And so I'm going to select the Tag drop-down menu, and then I'm going to select Player. Now next up, we want to make sure that the transform of this object is center in our scene but I'm actually going to raise it up in the Y direction by one. Next, we can leave all of the default components alone, but we're going to then add another component, which will be a rigid body. Now that's everything that we need for our player object at this point in time. And the next thing I'm going to do is set up our camera view. And so I'm gonna select the main camera, which should already be in your scene by default, and I'm going to drag it onto our player ball object. Next, I'm going to center this camera object on its parent. We then want to rotate our camera by 60 degrees in the X and 45 degrees in the Y. Now with our camera selected and the move tool set to pivot and local, I'm going to drag the Z axis arrow and drag it up until its transform reads about negative eight in the X. And it's totally fine if you can't get the position to be exact. Now once we have our camera in this position, we then want to readjust the X rotation to be 45. This will give our game somewhat of an isometric perspective. And this will put the ball more near the bottom of our game view. Now once we have our camera positioned and rotated to where we want it to be, the next thing that I'll do is create the platforms that our ball will be rolling on. To create these platforms, we want to start with an empty game object. And so I'm going to click on the Create drop-down menu and select Empty. We can then rename this game object to be something like Platform Prefab. Now what we want to do is create a cube object that will be a child to this empty. And so I'm going to right-click on the empty, go down to 3D Object, and select Cube. Now the only thing that we need to do is make sure that this cube object is centered on its parent, but we then want to move it down in the Y direction by negative 0.5. We then want to scale it up in the X and Y direction by two. This will make it so that the platform's a little bit wider for the ball to roll on. But what the negative 0.5 does is it makes it so that when we select our parent object and then scale this object up in the Y direction, it'll make it so that the cube only scales in one direction. And so I'm going to set the Y scale of our parent object to be something like 20. Now the last thing that we need to do at this point in time for this object is add another rigid body. We're then going to enable the is kinematic option. This option makes it so that the platform won't move until we disable this option. Now at this time we can make a prefab out of our platform object and so I'm going to right click on our assets folder in the project window, then go to create folder, and then going to rename this folder to prefabs. I'm then going to select our platform prefab object and drag it into this folder. Now the next thing that I want to do is create a couple more segments of our platform out of this prefab. And so I'm going to drag our prefab into our hierarchy about five times. I'm then going to select each one after our initial one and reposition it in the X direction by intervals of two. And so the second one's going to be two, the next one's going to be four, the next one's going to be six, the next one's going to be eight, and the 
and the last one's going to be 10. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because when our ball begins to roll, it's always going to start rolling in the same direction on the x-axis. And so I want to have a segment of our platform that is always the same to give the player time to react. Now that's everything that we need to get started with this project, but one thing that I might change is the material of our ball. And so I'm going to create a new folder in our project window, which is going to be for materials. And then let's go ahead and create a new material. So I'm going to right click and go to create and then select material. You can then rename this to ball and I'm just going to make it a red. I'm then going to select my player ball object and then in the mesh renderer under materials, I'm going to drag our material to element zero. And that right there already looks a lot better. Now in the next lesson, we'll dive into some code and show you how to create a platform generator. Now this concludes the free portion of this tutorial series. If you'd like to gain access to the rest of this complete series, make sure that you go over to our website and sign up for our membership. Our memberships only cost $3 a month, so go to www.infogamerhub.com and become a member today.